Hey everyone, welcome back to another breaking class on the new Rhythms for Glasgow Facebook page. I'm Chaz B, I'm going to be your breaking teacher for today. You may know this dance as break dance, but we call it breaking and that is how I shall be addressing this from now on. Really looking forward to getting started. If you are interested in knowing more about breaking and keeping up to date with my adventures, you can follow me on Instagram at Chaz B. Really excited to get started on this one. Let's go. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do today is a top rock exercise. For those of you that don't know, top rock is the first thing that you do in breaking. It is everything that we do on our feet. It is the more rhythmic part of this dance where we have different patterns and we take different shapes while we're up on our feet, okay? We're gonna do a quick little top rock exercise to get us in tune with the music, to figure out which steps we're gonna do, and we're gonna take it from there. So that's our music right there. Yeah, what we're gonna find is that there's an eight count in this music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what we wanna do first is a two step. Same side, just like this. Same side. Left to right, right to left, we're always on our toes, yeah? Just like this. Now what you should find, is let your arms move. Yeah? Just like that. Good, good, good. Now what we're gonna do, in a little moment, we're gonna get our feet, we're gonna put them across, like this. So we go. Just like that. And what you'll find is that your arms will naturally swing like this, when you step out. Go, go, go. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our feet out to the side, so we go. Step out, step out, step out, step out. Like that. Okay, back to the front. And what we're gonna do, is mix those two steps into one movement. So we're gonna go, out, side, out. Out, side, out. Just like that. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch things up. Go to the back. Just like this. Just like that. Then we're gonna go. this if you have that slight bend in your knees just like this have that slight bend let your arms swing let your knees bounce that's what we should be doing whenever we do any top rock steps that was just a small top rock exercise to get you used to the movements get us warmed up a little bit what I want to do now is take you through a few pointers that will help you with your top rock the first thing that you want to do, you want your arms to be swinging, you want your arms to be around your chest, you want them to swing, you want them to be around here, let's say. Because this is a dance where we need movement, we need upper body movement as well as movement with our legs. So you have to be free in your movements. They're controlled but you need to be free. It's a bit weird but you'll figure it out. The next thing that we do, we're always on our toes when we do top rock, okay? We rarely, very rarely, use our heels, okay? So please make sure that you're always on your toes when you do top rock, yeah? Now, the final point is about the musicality. As you know, there's always a tempo, there's always a rhythm, and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? That beat will always be there. The music might get faster or it might get slower and we need to adapt to the music. Now that we've done that, what I want to take you through are some of the top rock steps that we've just done. The first one that we did is a two step and that's just side to side, yeah? Side to side, left to right, right to left, on the toes. When we do this, you might notice there's a slight bend in my knees, 
and my back is rocking back and forth because what I'm doing is this. This is what we call the rock, the groove, yeah? It's a way to keep our body constantly moving to the music, just like that. So you'll find that when you do this, your hips are coming forward, your knees are bent, your shoulders are slowly coming back. That's just what this is, yeah? This will come with time. Once you do these exercises over and over and over again, that will get a lot easier. Now what we're going to do is get into the cross step, yeah? So the cross step, we start with our feet in here and our arms around here, this is one. You're then going to take your left leg, you're going to put it across your body, diagonally, bring your arms out, bend your knees, boom, this is two, right here. We're then going to go back to the starting position, arms are around us, our feet are in, this is three. We take the right leg now and we put it across our body, boom, like this, this is four. Then we go in, five, back out, six, here, seven, out, eight. So that was our cross step at the front. Now we're going to take that step, we're going to put it to the back. It's still a cross step, but instead of bringing our feet out in front of us, they're going to go behind us. So, we're going to start around here. This is one. You're going to take your left leg, you're going to put it diagonally to the back, and as you take your step back, you're going to bring your arms out like this. Boom. Like this, okay? This is two. We're then going to bring our feet in, back to the start. This is three. Gonna take the right leg now, as you put it diagonally to the back, arms come out again, boom, just like that. So we're five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next top rock step that we're gonna do is the salsa step, also known as the side step, and in a few other countries they call it the kick ball change. Okay, you're gonna start in the middle like this. This is one. You're gonna take your left leg right here, you're gonna step out to the side on the toe, and you need to lean your body weight over that leg. This is two. Bring that leg in, that's three. You're gonna take this leg now, put it out to the side, lean your body weight over that leg, just like that, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, what we can do with that move, we can make that move feel a little bit faster, give it a bit more dynamics, the leg that you step out with, we're going to do a kick at the front with, so you're going to step out, and then kick, a low kick to the front, get that foot down, other leg goes out here, bring that leg in, small kick, down, out. So the leg that you step out with is the one that you kick with. So step out with the right leg and the right leg kicks, step out with the left leg and the left leg kicks. What I'll do right now, Give you guys a few minutes to practice your top rock, I'll leave the music to play and we'll come back with the next element of the session.
that was top rock and we're now going to move into something called a drop so a drop is how we get from top rock to the floor for us to continue dancing yeah the first drop that we're going to do is the squat also known as the european get down start here bring yourself down on the toes make sure that your butt is supported by your heel bounce around bounce around back up one more time all the way down bounce around bounce around make sure that our heels are supporting us and we're balanced on our toes right there one more time all the way down right here back up let's move on to the front sweep now one thing that's important to remember is that a lot of these drops end in the same position with one leg hooked around the other so what we're going to do for the front sweep you're first going to start with one leg forward okay the back leg is the one that we sweep with it's the one that we hook with yeah what we're going to do this front foot here we're going to lean forward so our body weight is over this leg here okay now at the same time that we lean our body weight here we're going to sweep out with this leg here and hook it around this one boom just like this yeah let's go back up and do it again so we go one foot in front of the other as you lean your body weight forward onto this front foot you're going to sweep around to the side and around the leg under the knee here lean forward hook just like that let's do that on the other side other foot forward other foot back lean forward here swing the leg around and hook just like that let's do that one more time foot forward foot back lean forward onto the front foot sweep the back leg around here here and that is our front sweep I'll give you guys a few minutes to work on those drops there I'll let the music play and then we're going to carry on once we get back footwork is all the patterns and the shuffles 
that we do on the floor at this height. What helps with our footwork is having good balance. So the first thing that we're going to do are different coordination exercises that help with your balance. What you should notice is that I am on my toes all the time. I am never flat footed. We feel heavier. We can't move ourselves around as much as we should. So we stay on the toes. Our butt is supported by our heels. You're gonna get your hand right here. You're gonna put it next to your heel. And already your hips should move forward. Your knees should move closer to the floor and they should be an okay distance apart. Not the full way apart, not all the way in, just a good space in between that. And your other hand is right here, over the thigh. What we're gonna do now is sweep the hand over the thigh, get that other hand next to our heel, right here, and hand goes here. So we go over, 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 over. These are called hand taps, right here. Just like that. The next one, you're gonna get this hand here, put it on the floor, and get that same leg, and bring it out, right here. Then we bring that leg in, sweep the hand over, and get the leg out like that. Then we bring that leg in, switch hand, switch leg. It's important the hand goes down first and then the leg comes out. Bring it in, switch, switch. Good. Now we're going to move on to do the opposite of that. You're going to get right hand on the floor, but the left leg goes out to the side. Bring it in, switch hand, switch leg. So, one hand on the floor, the opposite leg goes out. In, switch, in, switch, in, switch, in, switch. The final coordination exercise that we're gonna do. You're gonna start on your toes, your back is upright, and your arms are in at your chest. Okay, what we're gonna do, bring one leg out. And then bring that leg back in. And bring the other leg out. Bring the other leg back in. Now when you bring this leg out, when you go to switch, you're gonna do a tiny hop. Tiny, tiny hop. Right there, okay? Make sure that you stay balanced. Arms are in here. Switch again. Tiny hop, okay? Then you're gonna get to a point where every time your heel touches the floor, you switch legs. We'll go through that very slowly. Switch, 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 switch. And those are our coordination steps. What we're gonna do right now is move into the next footwork move. The Russian tap, also known as the CC, named after the crew Crazy Commandos. What we do for this move, we start on our toes right here, our hand is on the floor. Same hand, same leg. The next thing that you're going to do is get this hand and put it right next to this one. Once you've done that, you're going to lean onto the toe, okay? And as you do that, this leg is going to flick up, and then once it's flicked up, it tucks right back in under our butt. Here, up, down. Make sure that you're still facing forwards when you do this move, it will look sharper. So we go here here. Then we switch side, other hand down, other leg out, get this hand on the floor here, up, back, in, switch hand, switch leg, over, here, switch hand, switch leg, up, here, yeah. So don't look down at the floor like this unless you're going into a different move. Make sure that you're still facing forward when you do that move. You can do a Russian tap with only one hand on the floor. Here, in, out, and down, leg out, here, here, here. I would recommend that you start with two hands first and then move into 
the one hand right there. So the way that we move from one side to the other side is quite simple. And we do this by doing a shuffle. So a shuffle is basically a switch of the legs. If I put this hand down and this leg is out, I keep this hand on the ground and I shuffle my legs and switch legs. Boom, just like that. Then I shuffle again, boom. That's our shuffle. So what we're gonna do, the way I go from my Russian tap on this side to my Russian tap on that side, I go Russian tap, here, shuffle, switch. Just like that. Let me show you again. So I go Russian tap, here, keep this hand on the ground, shuffle my leg, switch. Then I go here, down, shuffle, switch. And that is the Russian tap, also known as the CC. And the safest way to do a freeze is if you do exactly as I tell you. Otherwise, if you hurt yourself, I am not liable. So let's move on. The shoulder freeze right here. We can do this on both shoulders. I'm only going to explain you on one shoulder. So the first thing that you need to do is get one arm out. Now see that hand right there? I have to turn that hand around so that my palm is facing up. Now because this arm is out, I need to look the opposite way right here. What comes next is you need to push the shoulder into the floor right in front of you. So I'm going to face the other way for that. Arm out, turn it round, look to the opposite side and I need to bring this shoulder onto the floor right here and I'm looking back. Keep the hand right here, push my hips up, I bring this leg up, so you should feel all of your weight is on your shoulder here, and on the corner of your head, don't push your face into the floor, push the corner of your head into the floor, hand goes right here. Now all that I'm gonna do is very slowly lift this leg off the floor. Here, boom, shoulder freeze. You can either keep this arm out straight as it is, or you can bend it in as long as your shoulder is pressed on the floor. You can change your leg shape, up, 
make, you can even thread as well. The options are limitless. I'll show you guys one more time what to do. You're going to get this arm out, twist it inward so that your palm is facing up, look the opposite way, get this part of your shoulder here onto the floor, right in front of you. You're going to push your hips up, keep your toes on the floor, lift one leg up and then very slowly push against the floor with your shoulder and lift the other leg up like that. And you should know that your shoulder's on the floor when you can move this bottom part of your arm, the lower part of your arm, freely. Here. Boom. And that is the shoulder freeze. What we're going to do right now is a light stretch to finish off the session. Three stretches that we're going to do. The first, bring your legs in. Keep your back up completely straight. Keep your legs completely straight as well. Lean forward until there's a pull in the back of your legs here. Hands on the knees, bring them down to the ankles and breathe in and out through your nose. Next up. You're going to have your feet on the floor, arms are out wide apart here. You're going to bring your right leg over your left. You're then going to get your left hand, bring it round the outside of the right knee. And you're going to pull to the left, right here. Then we switch to the other side, right here. Going to bring left leg over the right, get the right hand, rub the outside of the left, and we are going to put. Last freeze, we're going to go on our back again, feet are on the floor, arms are out wide, and you're looking at the ceiling. You're going to look to the left and bring your knees on the other side. So you're looking to one side and your knees on the floor on the other side. Then go back into the middle. Then you're going to look to the other side now and bring your knees to the opposite side right there. And that is a wrap. Thank you so much for checking in on this class, guys. Really appreciate you being here. Make sure you like the New Rhythms for Glasgow Facebook page and check back at our previous videos and classes on our Facebook page. If you like what you've seen today and you want to stay updated with my adventures, you can follow me on Instagram at Chaz B. Thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. See you in the next one.